Good morning, mistress. Oh, I know these early mornings don't agree with you, but you have a very important day today and we need to have you looking your best now, don't we? Don't tell me you forgot, my lady. Today is your outing with that handsome young lord, Nicholas Huxley. Yes, yes, of course, mistress. Business meeting. (laughs) Well, um, I don't know about you, but that young man could meet my business any... uh. That'll be enough of that, I think. Camilla... Would you please leave the subject of your business for when you have not been tasked with serving your mistress? Please finish preparing her for the day. My lady, everything is prepared for your inspection of the site for young Huxley's business proposal. I've also had the cook prepare a lovely spread for your picnic this afternoon, though there is still plenty of time to cancel. Cancel? Mistress! Don't you listen to a word of it. That adorable young man is just what we need visiting this house. It'll be good for you to get out of your office and spend some time in the company of such an uh, eligible individual. (laughs) A a business meeting or otherwise. You mean it'll be good for the maid's gossip mill? Don't be ridiculous. Maids do not gossip. We simply relay the news that comes through the manor in the most efficient way possible. Now, out with you. Shoo, shoo. I can hardly get the mistress up and ready when you're standing there glaring at me. Now, just you... As you wish, mistress. I'll see to it that your morning tea is ready for you in the study. Go on now. Shoo, shoo. Off you go. Disrespectful maids. All right, my lady. Let's get you into this dress, hmm? And then we can start on your hair. Oh, don't mind him too much. That butler's been under a storm cloud all morning. It's it's no surprise, though, Hmm? with the way Lord Huxley showed an interest in you. Hmm. He's very uh, protective of you. Hmm. As I said... It's no surprise. After all, he cares for you very much. Would you care for another cup of tea while you review the reports from the Southern Mines, Mistress? That is true. With the completion of your sale to Lord Huxley a month ago... There has been ample time to concentrate on what to do with the remaining assets of the estate. Hiring the mineralist to inspect the mine was certainly expensive, but if his report shows that there is still profit to be made, then it will be worth the cost. Can I get you anything else, mistress? Yes. Everything is prepared for your outing with young Huxley. Your lady's maid, and I will follow and attend you. I believe he is scheduled to arrive within the hour, and your appointment at the building site is scheduled for one o'clock. Pardon? My opinion? On the business proposal, or young Lord Huxley? I... will admit... I find that a difficult opinion to be honest about. Are you sure you wish to hear it, my lady? Very well. He is... polite, well-educated, and comes from a noble family. Every maid in this house nearly swoons when he arrives, but To his credit, he neither feeds their fantasies nor seems to pay them any mind. If I didn't know who his father was, I would think him possibly naive. But, though his interest in you seems quite genuine, he is still the son of Edmund Huxley, and though he doesn't appear to be cut from the same cloth, I cannot seem to shake the suspicions I have of him. Yes, mistress. 
I agree. You cannot judge a person by their parentage. But I pause in believing that from a family of deceivers, an honest man can be so easily found. I can see my words have upset you. I apologize, mistress. That was not my intent. If you will excuse me, I will see that the carriage is ready. My second opinion, mistress. You wish to hear my opinion on this business venture? Well, considering that you don't yet know the potential of the mine, and taking into account the remaining facility under your control, young Huxley's suggestion of importing raw product from the business he plans to invest in and using your facility to refine and package it is... Not an ill-conceived one. Yes, I'm being honest. You didn't think I would simply dismiss the proposal without thought, did you? Well, we can look at things from two perspectives. On the positive, it would keep your current factory workers employed and give you time to have a thorough examination of the mines completed, both for mineral deposits and safety, while still exacting a modest income. As a negative, it would further tie up much of the remaining funds from your sale to Lord Huxley. A financial investment to anything that may not bring a direct and swift profit is extremely risky in the current position of the estate. Though, of course, there is the potential for great return if it goes well. I have already expressed my concerns about the character of young Huxley, and that leads me to mistrust the businesses that he brings to the table. I believe, before you enter into any sort of contract with him, you would need to hire a private firm to investigate all the details of the investment. That would be an added cost, but one that could save you in the long term if there is any deception to be found. I would like to add, though, if I may, I fully believe in your ability to build something from what remains of your business holdings without becoming involved further with any Huxley. There are enough funds to cover the estate's expenses during the time it will take to complete the inspection of the mine. The preliminary report showed the possibility of minerals that would be profitable enough to rebuild from and I believe you to be a woman capable of doing just that. You have faced great hardship already, and still you stand strong. <clears throat> Pardon me, mistress, but young Lord Huxley has arrived. He's waiting in the foyer for you. Yes, ma'am, right away. Mistress, before you go, thank you for allowing me to share my thoughts with you on these matters. I hope you know you can always come to me when you need a second mind to sort things out. Of course, mistress. After you. <laughs>